Hello, hello. Hope everyone's having a lovely day today. And this video is a little bit different from the other things I've been uploading, but I am really, really excited for Diablo 4. So I just wind, kind of wanted to give a little review on it and just, you know, everything about the game that I love so far. And I have a lot of good things <laughs> to say about this game. I've always been, you know, a really, really big fan of Diablo 3, Path of Exile, and, you know, now this game. And I've always been leaning more on the Path of Exile side, but this beta really, really, you know, has opened my eyes and has got me really, really excited for Diablo 4 and probably making that into the more along the lines of the, the new game that I'll be playing a lot more. And it has nothing to do with it being, you know, a new release or anything along those lines, just because Path of Exile is always releasing new leagues every three months and it is definitely a wonderful experience but to me personally it felt like everything i wanted in diablo 3 or that i wish diablo 3 had it seems they immediately <laughs> worked on and brought into diablo 4 the main one being that it's open world i absolutely love that Especially for a game like Diablo 4, I feel like it really just takes it, the quality and the experience, that much more further. There's going to be a lot of, you know, examples of where people are going to explore dungeons that others haven't been to, get nice items, or even side quests that other people, you know, didn't know about, and everything along those lines. And it goes so, so far with that when you know when you're in parties and everything instead of more of just a linear experience where every everyone's been like oh yeah you know i did that or you know i was i was there and it it goes as far as even um loot you know that's another thing i really really like is throughout when you're exploring the whole world you know chests just aren't you know right up there and right there in front of you for you to loot there's always going to be examples of like some that are just buried halfway like into the terrain or anything along those lines or behind destroyable objects and it really it's just really cool to be able to you know have that personal experience which is what i really think they went for is that everyone's experience is going to be different and i fully 100 support that and I think it is an amazing part on their side really well done really executed just beautifully as well another thing I really really liked is the world box it was at first you know at first I I had mixed feelings about it them announcing that one is gonna be happening within you know a 20 minute time frame to meet a specific area i was like eh i think it'd be a lot more cooler to where it would just drop and then if people were there people were there you know and whoever got the loot got the loot but then actually experiencing the world boss <laughs> it is really hard we were really close to beating it but you know unfortunately we had i think like 10% of its health left and it, and it killed all of us or we ran out of time and that kind of made me change my mind on it I was like okay a lot of people need to be here <laughs> for the for the world bosses and I really really like the world boss as well I think it was really really fun experience it brings a lot more you know MMO aspects to Diablo that weren't there before and I think they really kind of went in that direction with everything that they do. And I was really, really excited about it. All the way from, you know, the the random dungeons as well as the events. You know, when exploring the world, you're going to have events where it's going to have you, I don't know, uh, stop a ritual that uh, banshees are doing or you have to like slay enemies or you have to survive a ambush against like you know a thieves guild or something and i all of that is really really cool and i i really love the way they brought it into the open world area like it's just it's really really awesome you know i really love stuff like that and the dungeons 
The dungeons are absolutely amazing. I had such a fun time with them. It wasn't more of just entering one and being like, oh, okay, uh, slay all the enemies. <laughs> you know, there was always, you know, quests that you had to do. You either had to, you know, free prisoners. You had to um, kill specific enemies so you can collect, uh, like, a certain amount of resource from them in order to drop it off in a well that opens up like another secret door to a like dungeon boss like there's just so much like that that was really really cool that really shows that they they care about what they're doing it's really really awesome a few other you know really cool uh pros um while experiencing the beta was going into every area every area was so beautiful i had such a fun time with every single area i was in it didn't feel like, you know, all the monsters had the same AI, but just looked differently. It was nothing along those lines. Another thing I really, really liked is implementing the dodge mechanic. Because there are some enemies where no matter how strong you are, you're going to have to dodge stuff. <laughs> and I thought that was really, really cool that every class you know, has that ability. Even the, the big, strong classes like the one I'm playing, which is Druid. As well as there's a lot of visual cues that aren't like AOE abilities and stuff on uh, where you're gonna have to dodge the ability or you will get stunned, you get knocked down, you'll get life leeched and everything along those lines. So I really really like that mechanic. And the last one, it's very more on the smaller side but, but I really really liked it is customizing the character and the, the options they have from you know, customizing the way your character looked. And of course in the older Diablo you could change the way your armor looked and everything. But what I really loved about this one is it's free. <laughs> it, it would always cost gold to change what your armor or your weapon or like the color of any of it looked like. And during the beta all of it was, you know, absolutely free and I really really loved that. <laughs> there wasn't a time playing this beta where I was like, okay, this seems kind of repetitive it was an all-out you know I was excited every time I launched it and just got to experience it from you know all the new totems that they give for you know having a limited resource to use all of that like there's just so much about the game that I absolutely love and I'm really really excited for and you guys will definitely see in the future runs on this channel as well as a, a playthrough because I am really, really excited for this game. But as if now, thank you so much, and I highly recommend this game. Will you all have a beautiful rest of your day? Be safe, take care, and see ya.